Hello, second graders. Welcome back to school and welcome to our beautiful media center, our library. I hope you remember me. I worked with you last year when you were first graders. My name is Mrs. Kenzenius, and you'll remember also in our library, we have our wonderful helper, Mrs. Mullenbach. When you come down to the library this year, we would love to have you come as often as you can. One of the things we'd like you to do when you come to the library is sign in to show that we've, you've been here. On the, on the on library checkout desk, just like last year, we have the computer so you can sign in. If you come by yourself or with a small group, please be sure and sign in on the checkout desk. The first time you come, Mrs. Mullenbach or I will show you how to do that again because I know it's hard to remember from first grade. As second graders this year, we'd like to start out by checking out two books. And I know that it's important for you to have one of those books be a book that you can read. Try to read that book. So as you're going around looking for your books today, please try to pick out a book that you can read. Probably a book from the Everybody Book section. You might remember that last year we used these shelf markers to help us find the books on the shelves. Do you remember how we used them? Oh, that's right. This was a way that we could remember where the book went. So if we didn't want it, we'd know where to put it. As you look around for your books in the library and you're looking on all those different shelves, there are a lot of them, aren't there? If you see something that looks interesting, slide your shelf marker into that shelf to mark the spot. And then take the book out and look through it and see if it's a book that you want. You remember that all the books in our library have their own special address, the place that they belong on that shelf. If the book gets put away in a different place, in the wrong place, we can't ever find it again. And then when someone else comes to find it, that book is lost. That can be really hard for us. So we want to get the books back in the same spot, in the right spot. So what I'd like to have you do is if you decide you don't want this book, simply slide it back into the shelf, right where your shelf marker was. And please put the book in so that the spine is facing out and the open pages are facing in. And please be sure the book is right side up. Thank you for helping us out with that. If you don't know where the book goes, there is another place you could put it. In our library, we have a return shelf. It's the shelf that we use, it's a cart the cart that we use to put our books on that we aren't checking out or that we're returning to the shelves. You could put your book there and Mrs. Mullenbach or one of our volunteers would get that book in the right spot. Really a nice helper uses a shelf marker. Do you know how to use yours? Great. Just like in first grade, we'll be using library cards to check out our books. This year, we haven't had our pictures taken yet, so we don't have new library cards. We're using our library cards from last year. What I'd like to have you do when you get your library card is use it for a few weeks till we get our new ones. And then you'll get a new one with your new picture on it and the new information about who your teacher is. If you weren't a Pine Meadow student last year, don't worry about it. We'll either make up a, a card for you that'll be kind of a temporary card or else you can just tell, tell us your name and we can check the book out for you that way. Now we like to have you get plenty of time to read the book. So we actually give you two weeks to read your books. Two weeks is a really long time to read most books. Most children that I know take their books home and read them the first night and maybe again the second night, but usually by about the third night they're ready for something different. We don't make you wait until your next library checkout day to get another book. You can bring those books back anytime you want, as long as your teacher says it's okay. Come into the library quietly. Remember to be respectful of other people who are working in here. Come right up to this checkout desk. Sign your name on our sign-in computer so that we know that you've been here. And then grab a shelf marker and pick out some new books to check out. It's not necessary to wait until your next library day. I want you to have new library books to read as often as you need them. If you need to keep your books for the whole week, that's okay. And if you aren't finished with your book when it's library day again, and you want to keep them a couple more days, that's okay too. But the biggest thing is to keep track of where they are, keep them safe and take care of them, 
and bring them back when you're done so that other people can read those books too. Thank you so much for coming to our library today and for taking such good care of all of our wonderful books. We're very lucky here at Pine Meadow. We have thousands and thousands of books to share with you. This year, I want to use a video like this to tell you a little bit more about some of the books that are my favorites and see if maybe they can become your favorite books too. Have a great day and have a wonderful school year at Pine Meadow. Thanks.